Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna look at something different, which is Womp 3D. The developers of the software reached out to me and asked if I wanna make a video on it, since I'm familiar with Dreams and the scripting tool in Dreams, and Womp isn't that different to Dreams in terms of scripting. So yeah, of course we're gonna make a video on it. I tried it out, sculpted my first asset, which we're gonna see later. But first, let me introduce you to the software, since if you don't know what Womp 3D actually is, it's basically a 3D design software that runs on any browser now, and you can create, share, and even 3D export your models for various purposes. So if you wanna 3D print something, you can export in different files and different quality levels. You can use those assets for animation, AR and VR applications, as well as games, of course. Womp has an intuitive and easy to use interface and also doesn't require any downloads or installations. So you basically just open a browser window and can get started with 3D modeling. It has 3D live rendering tech, which is streamed to you, so you can see your 3D creations live as you make them. The controls are also pretty straightforward. You rotate while holding the left mouse button and you can translate your camera while holding the right mouse button. There are also different view options, so you can snap your view to different axes or even have an autographic view. There's also a very loose grid snap mode, which lets you sculpt while also having the guidelines to snap to and the different points of the different shapes you have. So you can create with your flow, but also have guidelines on, so you don't go off grid, basically. People that are familiar with 3D software will feel right at home, and there are also many shortcuts from other software that you'll be finding here too. So for example, I'm currently also learning Unreal Engine, and if you alt drag something, it makes a copy of it, and the same applies here too. And if you have like many shapes, you can also union them to act as basically one big object that you can group together and move around. You can also just group them together, so you don't have like the transitions between the different shapes, because that's one big feature of WOMP, the blending of different shapes. They call it goopiness in the software. It's basically Dream's soft blend option and you can blend different shapes together, you can blend colors together and it all looks really good. One of the more powerful features are the materials, which really impressed me because you can get accurate reflection and refraction of stuff in the software itself without having to render anything. So for example, I made this lens here and have a cube well into the distance. And if I look through the lens, it's actually upside down and distorted correctly, which I found really cool. There are also many HRIs you can try out for different settings. So you have different reflections in your assets. One thing I also found really cool was the pre-made curves that you can adjust to your liking. You can, for example, add and remove points along the curve and adjust them later too. Coming from Dreams, this is like a game changer for me because in Dreams you're pretty much committed to a curve once you place it and here you can adjust it whenever you want. Scale points within the curve up and down and have the material blended between the points in the curve. So that is a really, really nice feature and I think you can make a lot of cool stuff with that. And of course you also have different light options. Every scene comes with a dome light basically, but you can also add a dome light on your own to adjust the coloring. And there are also spotlights and even rectangular lights that you can adjust the size of. So the first model I tried to make was Ang's glider. It was actually pretty easy to figure out the controls and if you worked with booleans like in dreams before, it's pretty much self-explanatory how the shapes must come together to form the desired model. And while modeling, I also found it very helpful to always have the translation, rotation and scale handles on the shape itself. For rotation, for example, you just aim at a corner and you can rotate it. If you want to stretch it, you can just hover over the translate handle and it has like a little pop-up where you can stretch it. You can also grab any corner and adjust it from there. And if you want to have some finer control, you can always just hammer in numbers into the sidebar and it will be perfect. The curve tool also worked perfectly for the wind effects that I added in the end, since they consist of like many spheres, so you can adjust the goopiness between those spheres, which basically forms a soft blend, which gets you this nice separation at the ends. And for the materials, I just added one for fabric and one for the wood and applied it. Some lighting adjustments and done. Only took a few minutes really. And throughout I used WOM's recording feature to export basically what I did because I wanted to see how that looks in the end. And I think you can export up to 4K and 60 FPS. So that's pretty sick. It takes a while for exporting. For this video I exported in 1440p and 60 FPS, but if you want, you can go higher. 
I also tried the 3D exporting option and exported the glider into Blender, mainly to check on how Womp handled the mesh. So if you want to use your Womp assets for games or animations, I would recommend to retopo them by hand or with the software. And also be sure to separate out your different materials in the editor itself, otherwise they will blend together as one object. So for the glider for example, you would want to separate out the wood from the fabric. And if you want to 3D print them, there's actually an option to set it as one object, so they should work right out of the box without much editing to them afterwards and I've been actually playing around with the thought of getting a 3D printer for a long time now and this might just be the reason, we will see. After that I experimented a little bit with the image importer for reference photos. I overlaid it over the entire scene and made it slightly opaque to see what I'm doing. And for the model I chose a simple share and it turned into, well, a share. So it works and if you have some more complex models I think it's a good feature to have. Always wanted that in dreams too. But yeah, it's nice to have. Overall I'm really impressed how easy the software is to use and if you're coming from dreams you will feel right at home. It just needs a little bit getting used to with the mouse controls. But yeah, excited to see what they're gonna add next in the future in terms of features. If I would want to have one feature, it would be a desktop app that I can run locally just to have the slight quality boost in image quality. Because when you edit you do see the artifacts from streaming but honestly it doesn't really matter because the shapes in the editor itself are real time so you always see what you're doing. It just a tiny tiny bit delayed in terms of rendering but for a browser software it's actually pretty insane that this works at all. So props to the WOM team and also if you have any questions to the team I will include their discord channel in the video description and of course the WOM website where you can try it out for yourself. And thanks again to the WOM team for letting me make a video about it. The next video is gonna be avatar related again and I will see you soon. Bye bye, stay safe and wash your hands.